He's a huge believer in mentoring. He's mentored me, he mentors other people, and he's a student of mentoring. And he is adding so much value to the whole concept of mentoring all over the country. And if anyone has been lucky enough to be mentored by Keith Kroc, they know what I'm talking about. He's simply a force of nature. Hello, I'm Viva Bianca, and today I have the honor of speaking with Keith Kroc. I'd like to turn our focus to the Virtual Mentor Network, one of your current ventures. So why will the Virtual Mentor Network be a new category in mentoring? Yeah, so if you think about the mission, it is to develop that next generation of transformational leaders that the world so desperately and, and dearly needs. And uh, this stuff isn't really written in a book. Mm. And I've been very fortunate in my life to have some, some great mentors that uh, I learn from, and you particularly learn from their fears and their failures and their flaws, because that kind of, to see these, you know, uh, uh, great mentors um, being human and also being afraid, and, and a few how-tos along the way, it's just, it's, it's a great way uh, to learn. So, um, but there, you know, there's challenges, um, uh, in terms of mentoring. One is there's not a lot of, there's not enough mentors to go around, uh, mm -hmm. particularly uh, transformational ones. And the other thing is that uh, you need multiple mentors because um, not every one person can role model every single characteristics. I, I always talk about it in terms of with uh, my children, I call it the hybrid mentor matrix, you know, have mul multiple mentors, take the best from column A, the best from column B, the best from column C. And I always said, you know, one of my most important jobs in terms of being a father is not only to give you self-esteem, but it's also to find you multiple role models. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so the objective is to bring some of the best transformational leaders um, that, I, that I know that are across sectors. So, like four-star general uh, Stanley McChrystal, Dan Golden, uh, the longest serving director at NASA, uh, Michael Brown, who is uh, probably one of the most so, uh, epic social entrepreneurs, the guy who, who founded AmeriCorps. And then also Kim Hammonds, who she was CIO of Boeing. She was the ch uh, chief operating officer of um, a Deutsche Bank and, uh, um, you know, have uh, all these, uh, I call them, uh, transformational leaders of tomorrow be able to learn um, from them and to be able to scale it that way. And it's really creating a two-sided network and, and actually used a lot of things that I learned at Ariba when we built the Ariba network with buyers and suppliers and, the, and uh, you know, the business to business e-commerce area and also DocuSign, you bring businesses and consumers together. It's really bringing mentors and mentees together at scale mm -hmm. um, to develop that next generation. I think that uh, to me is the ultimate pay it forward category. And um, I haven't seen anything out there like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we're, we're able to put together um, something that's going to have a big impact on this world. Mm. And with the creation of the Virtual Mentor Network, you've made it clear that your mission and passion is, as you said, to help build the next generation of transformational leaders. Why do you believe that transformational leadership is so important right now, today? Yeah, I, Viva, I think there's a number of reasons. First of all, I think the rate of change in this world is accelerating, a lot brought on by technology. So we need honorable leaders who can make this new world a better world for all. Mm. Um, uh, also, um, problems today are more complex, I think more interconnected. So you need innovative leaders to envision uh, solutions to tuffle, to tackle tough, you know, the tough problems. Uh, I also think that um, our ideals, democracy, uh, is, under, is under threat, and we need principal leaders who can defend um, those ideals. Mm -hmm. And I think another thing, too, is that 
uh, society, the world is more fragmented and more fractured than ever before. And I think we need um, that next generation of leaders who are capable of uh, inspiring and mobilizing and, and unifying. Um, and I just see a, a desperate need for that.